I think it's also important to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. So the normal way that we conduct our lives is we, 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 we reason by analogy. Um, it's, we're doing this because it's like something else that was done mm -hmm. or it's like what um, other people are doing. Me too but, type ideas. Yeah, it's, yeah it's slight iterations take, yeah. On, on, on a theme. It's kind of mentally easier to reason by analogy rather than from first principles. But by first principles is kind of a physics way of looking at the world. And what that really means is you kind of boil things down to the most fundamental truths and, and say, okay, what are we sure is true or, or as sure as possible is true? And then reason up from there. Mm -hmm. uh, that takes a lot more mental energy. Give but, me an example of that. Like what's one thing that you've, you've done that on that you feel has worked for you? Sure. So um, somebody could say, um, in fact, people do, uh, that factory packs are really expensive and that's just the way they'll always be because that's the way they've been in the past. Um, you're like, well, no, that's, that's pretty dumb, you know, because if you applied that reasoning to anything new, that ha then you, you wouldn't be able to, to ever get to that new thing. Right. For batteries, they, they would say, historically, it's cost six, $600 per kilowatt hour, and so it's not going to be much better than that in the future. So, so first principles would be to say, okay, what are the material constituents of the batteries? Mm -hmm. What is the spot market value of the material constituents? So you can say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, um, and some polymers for separation, and a seal can. So break that down in, on a material basis and say, okay, what, if we bought that in the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? It's like, oh, geez, uh, it's like $80 uh, uh, per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell and you can have batteries that are much much cheaper than anyone realizes